Thank you so much for watching Saudi Africa on Faraja TV. It's really been long. I've been missing you guys. Hopefully you've been missing me too. Thank you so much for the reviews. I'm very happy and making a change where I've been advised to. And we are very grateful, me and my team back there. They're sending hellos and greetings to you all. Thank you so much for the reviews. And keep subscribing, liking, sharing, and let us enjoy this. So today... Our guest is a writer. Very many people are out there writing stories that are really inspiring. People are loving what they're doing because I know it is very interesting to do something that you like. I do like what I'm doing and hopefully what you're doing, you're liking it. I'm sure you're liking what you're watching. That is why you're still watching. Please keep on with me as we have Naka Kandeshipa on the show today. She's a writer, as I said earlier. She is a student. She's a mass, mass communication student. She's very glad to be here. I'm really seeing her. She's smiling. She's happy and she can't wait to share with us. Yes, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me on today's episode, Jackie. Yes, my name is Shiba Nakakande. I'm a writer and a podcaster, as well as a student at Umkat School of Journalism and Mass Communication. And currently, I'm writing with Baboon Forest Entertainment as a as a contributor to the website. So are you basically writing entertainment stories or it is a package of everything? Um, Baboon Forest is packaged with life, lifestyle stories, entertainment basically, sports, um, not politics. Yeah, that's what the Baboon Forest entertainment website is all about. So before I maybe engage you into Baboon and the writing what inspired you to start writing in the very first place? Because I know you didn't just start writing with Baboon Forest. Um, first things first, it's passion that drives each and everyone to do what they want. And for me to start writing, it's passion that, dr that drove me from the first day. Wanting to express myself on paper and I feel more free expressing myself on paper. That's when I started writing. So how do you join Baboon Forest? Um, I joined Baboon Forest not so long ago. That's like a couple of months back. That's in that's in February. There was there was a post on their website. They were looking for writers for for the Baboon Forest Entertainment website. So I put in my application and it, and it was accepted. Oh, so you start writing before Baboon Forest, and what inspires you to write? Because I mean, there are very many people that have that people that are doing very many things, but there is an inspiration, a story behind that, or there is a reason as to why they are writing. So why are you writing? And is, is it because it is your passion, you told me, or you're writing because there is a reason behind that? Just like I told you in the first place, it's passion. And let me just take it back maybe a little bit. I loved... As a young girl, I would love re I would love reading stories from magazines. From that was a Toto magazine, that that used to come is it in the New Vision newspapers. If you have a clue about that, um, my grandmother used to bring newspapers each and every day. She's she's a retired public servant. Um, she would bring newspapers each and every day. So I would run I would run and immediately I would get the newspapers. And the first thing that I would Tap into would be the Toto magazine, the stories of young girls behind there. Um, those are the stories that I would read. And there was also like a segment of you writing short stories and handing them back, and you'd get feedback about that. So that's when I started writing. Um, yeah, basically that. So reading, reading and writing are yeah. go together. hand in hand, yes. yes. Yeah, so you read, then you get what to write, right? Yes. Yeah, so please, my lovely people that are watching South Africa. Do not forget because I know Ugandans really hate reading. We hate reading. So let us please read. And yes, so Naga Kande, you said you used to read stories from magazine, Toto yeah. Magazine. Yeah, Toto Magazine. So. I don't know if it's still there, but that's what I remember getting my inspiration to start writing and start expressing myself out there also. Because you see kids writing, eh? so you are interested into the writing. Yeah. So you working with Baboon Forest, is it a walkthrough or there's some bits of, you know, here and there or it is something? 
of course, in every journey, there is no smooth journey. So there are ups and downs here and there, but you keep on pushing until you, you reach your goals. So please, people there, do not give up as she by saying. Be focused, love what you're doing, and be supportive with yourself because you're supposed to support yourself before someone else can see you and they get you from where you are so they can support you just like Nakakande saw something somewhere and she was interested into it and it is really giving her um, it is really pushing her somewhere and she's becoming someone better each and every day right yes. so what challenges are you facing into this writing that you're doing before I joined Baboon Forest Entertainment of course I tried, I tried working with some websites that I may not be able to mention here. And then you would, you'd hand in your article. Let's say you're a writer, you hand it in to an editor. Remember, you cannot just publish your article for just like that. You hand, in, you hand it in to the editor to edit, to edit it before it's published. So this editor may just change maybe like five words or six words. And at the byline, they put their name. Does that really make sense? I don't... I don't think that's really good because you have put in your effort, you've, you've researched about this article. Fine, the editor, the editor does their job, but sometimes they do not even change a single word. At the byline, they put their names. That's not really so good. So you mean someone can wake up and let me give an example of a song. I wake up in the morning and I change like five words in a song and tomorrow is my song. Yes, that's very possible. That's not good. Yeah. So how are you overcoming those challenges or your, you go there and be like, oh, I need my money or please change the name or you have a way you handle it. Um, for, the, for the short time that I've started writing with, with, with a website, that's when your articles like get maybe out there to everyone to read it, to read them. Um, I will just let go personally or just let go. Of course, there's nothing you can do. There's nothing like, I'm going to go to the, like how you see the, the Uganda organization that checks for copyrights and stuff. It's not like you would go there, then you start benching for, no, you just let it go and just. Allow me cut, allow me cut you short. So you, you also, you write as an also not easy. You're not easy. You can wake up in the morning and boom, you come up with a story. You talk about someone because your face is not shown somewhere it is your name and people have same names like i know someone is out there and they're called nabasa jackie you know you wake up and be like this and this one did this and this and this and this and it is not tried right because your face is not there you can wake up and be like it's not me no but at the at the bottom of the byline there's this where you put your photo to okay. these days the website now that i write for there's your photo at the side um, they are definitely going to see the person who wrote and their name. So who do you look up to in this writing journey of yours? Who, is, who inspires you? Yes, or it is yourself? Mm, first, first of all, I push myself and my inspiration myself. First. Oh, yeah. Um, also, there is a girl, she's, she's a poet. But her lines are really so good. Like I look up to her. She's called Patricia. She's a law student at at Macquarie. She has very nice poems, like with very nice lines. So I look up to her. So hi Patricia. Nakakande is looking up to you. And I think you guys can meet, right? Yes. Yes. So you, you can tell her. I know she's going to get this information. Mm, yes, I've never met her, but I found her at a competition that I was at that during my form six work. Um, there were beyond beauty beyond beauty writing competitions. That's when I found her. So I started looking up to her. She there is a way she she puts her poems and they really hit so hard when you read them. Yeah, I just I know someone may be out there and they're like, Patricia, they really do not know that they are really inspiring someone out there. So please do your thing and make sure you're doing it perfectly because you never know someone like Shiba is out there looking up to you and they're like, ah, Patricia, you know? Yeah. Or someone is out there like, oh, Jackie, you know? So um, what good things are you getting from here? Because I know the journey cannot only be bad. It cannot be just like, when we are moving on the way, 
they can't be only potholes. People are talking about potholes everywhere, yeah. And they are forgetting there is Entebbe Road. It doesn't have potholes, you know. There is Express. Use Express, you know. Do not. It can't be bad. It can't be bad. Yeah, yeah people may copy you and write. People may paste your work exactly and just change the name. People may just remove the full stop where it is and place a comma there. But there are good things there. So what good things can you share with us? Um, social capital, first of all. Number one, the, the friends that I've got in the writing, the writing world are so many. Remember also in the, when, you write, when you write an article, there's a comment section where you, get to, where, where you get to find feedback about what you've written. So such people write, reach out to me and tell me where to change here and there. They also become your good friends. And yeah, social capital, first of all, is what I've, and remember, it's like, so the, the, the larger your social capital, the larger also your finances, of course. So that's the only good thing there, or Zimbi Mwaka Yomba somewhere, or Inaka Motoka, eh? So don't forget you're working you're watching South Africa on Faraja TV and been to be You don't need to rush, my dear friend that is out there. Don't you think you're going to wake up and boom, you're driving in one year or you've built yeah. Let us go on pola pola because the first thing that we have to create for ourselves it is the social capital that friend that we make where we are make friends with people that you live with make them your best friends though not your best friend because your best friend is someone different you may not work with him or her but let us please appreciate where we are let us love what we are doing are you loving what you're doing definitely i do a hundred percent I love the power. Definitely. Please love what you're doing just like Nakakande. She loves her work. Definitely. And the energy. I really love the energy. You remind me I have a sweet for you. <laughs> because, you know, when you love what you're doing, definitely someone that is out there that is seeing it, they'll be like, yeah, now this girl, she's loving what she's doing. Regardless, you may not get people that are giving you, because not everyone will comment. I, for one, my mom, <laughs> my mom watches everything, but she has never commented, maybe on TikTok, where she commented, Sikaga Day, and <laughs> it is because she saw me with some filter, and she didn't like the filter, so she commented, Sikaga Day, and it's me that showed her the commenting section, so I, I take it back to myself, <laughs> before she was not commenting, so I drive it back, not everyone is going to comment, but they love what you do, because I know your mom will love what you're doing, regardless of what you're doing. Your mom will love what you're doing. She may not comment, I may not comment, he may not comment, they may not comment, but we love what you do, they love what you're doing, and when you love what you're doing, definitely, definitely, it is going to come out well. So, as I said earlier, she says she's a podcaster. She said, not I said, she says she's a podcaster. So how do you start podcasting? And please draw a picture, make the person understand what is podcasting. Um, actually, I discovered podcasting by myself. I mean, it was during work as, as they are doing a lot of nothing. So as I scroll through the Instagram reels, I come across some phenomenal podcaster. She's no, she, she does, she does, in fact, her podcast is called Poetic Spark Horse. So I got intrigued into, into what, into watching out what she does. And that's when I got to know this is actually podcasting. Podcasting is like an online radio, but some sort, in fact, sort of an online radio, but it needs pushing so hard. It's, my podcast is still at the genesis of it. Um, it's called Realness with Shiba. It's on Google Podcasts. You can check it out. Tell them, tell them. It's a podcast basically about short stories about outstanding personalities of all time. Um, I narrowed it down to African personalities who are outstanding. So they have short stories. Um, maximum, it can be a, around 30 minutes. Yeah, that's what my podcasting journey is about. It's still a short journey for now. It is self-employment or it is like, I know there are very many online TVs 
online radios so it is an app no it's not an application it's like maybe let me narrow it down to like how you see a youtube channel how you open up a youtube channel have your own content on it and promote your own content but yeah it, it can it can it can be audio visual or only audio audio visual like like you see me, you see you see you see me talking but on the mic just like how you are okay yeah all with only the voice so it is you that decides what you want to give your yes people. it's 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 up to you you decide for yourself the kind of content you want to market so is it easy or it is kind of hectic and tiresome or it is just sitting and talking no it's not just sitting and talking it depends on on how you want to how you want to enlarge your your audience and it's it's up to you there's nothing easy and nothing hard and nothing hard it's it's about your mindset it's not a hard thing to do because i taught it to myself by myself you just go on youtube and and you see tutorials and you learn from them so how do you handle school podcasting and the writing because you know it is kind of tight it is tight so how do you handle it or you can do postcards anywhere you, you can, can do anywhere yeah you can do post podcasts from anywhere according to according to the place where you you decide to shoot from for as long as it's a quiet place just like how we are right now there are no birds shouting there is no noise that's disrupting you that so you don't want that kind of ambience around eh? yes so it is favorable <laughs> yes it is so even if someone is tiptoeing it is not allowed no it's not allowed but it depends according to the to the what the kind of machines you're using there are condenser mics that are able to absorb that sound okay. so how do you handle it how do you handle it? because i think it is very tight i for one i want to wake up like at 10 i want to snap i want to text people on my whatsapp I want to go to YouTube and to Netflix and chill. So how do you handle that? Because, you know, you look young. You love to do your nails sit somewhere and be like, oh, now what's happened? You know, how do you handle that? And you have to school. It's, it's as you, you schedule yourself because I do morning classes. That's from nine until one. So the rest of the time, it's up to you. It's up to you to do each and every. So kids, these days you don't school the whole day. No. <laughs> Not those things of high school, Simani, morning up to evening prep, no. It's from nine until one, then you have the whole weekend. I mean you can you can be able to to produce two articles each day if you're not studying the whole day. I wish I went to school earlier. Like no, yeah, earlier. Mm-hmm. I wish I went to school earlier. Like I don't know. I hate stress. Like study kumacha paka. No. I wish I came to school like these days these years this generation because back then mkwan try to soma every day bujunaku monday sunday pack a chido prep you know it it is tiresome it was tiresome i really hated school eh? my mom is not watching i hated school but naka kanda is here and she's really showing us how she's trying to keep up with her schedule and everything is perfect. Yeah, you just time yourself. You be like from this time to this time I'll be doing this. You pre- you prepare your your podcast like I'll shoot from this time to this time and and it's done. Then as you write simple as that. Yes, then I'll write this article at this time for as long as you research about it and you have facts about what you're going to write. I mean each and everything just falls in place. So do you have a specific niche that you're writing about or it is just anything you look at you come up with an article <laughs> no for now i've not i've not got a niche that i write about i can i can say confidently right now that i can write about entertainment and education as 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 a niche but for any any writer that's starting out there just explore yourself do not do not put yourself in one box make sure you can write about any anything until you find what you are good at they will grow up and be interested in being a doctor yeah. a lawyer until you hostess. find us yeah when we grow up definitely you will decide and be like now this is what i want to do and this is what is going to be good for me 
So that was the chain. What that's what you're trying to tell yeah. them. Yes, that's what I'm trying to tell them. That explore yourself. Make sure you make sure you write about anything until you find what you are perfect perfect art when you're writing. You find yourself that you're perfect at writing about education, learning, um, animations, storytelling. There are also sowets. Have you heard of, of sowets? Those are people who are storytellers through music. The, yeah, so you explore yourself until you find what your, your niche is. Because at this at this point and this age, it wouldn't be easy for you to find out like this is what I can write about. Make sure you just explore each and every time until you until you find what you're good at. Have you been a literature scholar in school? Yes, I have been doing literature since for just, months. Just as it is said, anyway, I also did literature. I'm a literature scholar back then. Back then, 1990. Oh, oh, 1900. Yeah, 19. Oh, I was doing literature, and yes. So, literature scholars, English. So, because everyone that talks about writing, they're always like, I was doing literature in high school and we used to write for the school. You are doing literature? Yeah, I was doing literature. That is true. Yeah, but not so true because, I mean, the people are just passionate, but then passionate about writing. But, anyways, never know it's true. <laughs> because you can't wake up in the morning and boom. Mm. You're writing, you don't, you don't have... That. You love reading novels, like... But it's is a subject, so we can learn these things, even if you don't like it, but you can learn it, right? So please, when you get one, two, <laughs> wake up, go and sing. Like me, I see, I see some artists there, there, by him, but even too, but okay. So Shiba, before we may say bye to you here at South Africa, on Faraja TV, but you're always welcome anytime, any day. You can come and sleep over, right? Thank you so much. <laughs> you can come and sleep over. Please advise these people that are there that are starting to write, people that want to write, people that love writing. Tell them something simple and that can really push them. Yeah. Okay, to each and everyone that's tuned in to Faraja TV, South Africa. Um, all the young people out there that are really looking up to writing as, as their talent, those who like writing, I'd love to tell all of you to just explore yourselves, like give, give, give writing your all, give whatever you are doing your own. It may be dancing, it may be writing just like how I do it, it may be any other talent, just just do what you love and everything will just fall in place. I would love to assure you about that. Thank you so much for loving the invitation and thank you so coming much here. Coming. Yes, we want to thank you people that have been watching till from the start till now. Thank you so much. Keep watching, sharing, reviewing and keep doing what you're doing because you don't know what you're doing. Maybe it is someone else's love or it is what they want to do. Keep doing it and please stay focused. We love you so much. Till next time, have a nice weekend. Nice time.